What's up, everybody? That Stay Trashy Tour is rolling on, coming down to the wire. A few shows left. Uh, it's a mix of stand-up comedy, AYG, me and the big man, co-headline. Then we come out, close the shows out together, playing AYG with the crowd. Get your tickies. Yeah, the Cue Ball Ain't Lying gang are coming to Minneapolis, Minnesota, Madison, Wisconsin, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Sacramento, California. Sacramento, California, again, you got two shows there. Scoop them up. Uh -huh. San Francisco, California, San Jose, Washington, D.C., and then we're closing out the year with two shows at the Fillmore in Philadelphia. The 21st is sold out. Get tickets for the 20th and come see the boys. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down to your favorite comedians and we find out if they're to be classy yeah. or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. She's down there in the basement with the plumber. Oh, boy. Just trying to get the boiler situated. <laughs> okay. Relax. Everybody relax. All right. I did hear a little knocking and banging. <laughs> he left his tool belt upstairs, too. <laughs> 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 this boiler's rocking, baby. Don't come and then and then knock it. My co is coming at you from across the table. Hey. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He's dressed like the ensign on the USS Enterprise right now. You look like the first guy killed in Star Trek. Where'd you get that thing? Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. Beam me up, Kippy. Uh, <laughs> what's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... Twitter up. Cooking. And obviously, the greatest website of all time. You yes. go over there, you pull out your phone, your laptop, your whatever. Wee. You go over to www.patreon.com slash are you garbage. And let me tell you, gang... The army of garbage is strong over there. The homies are strong over there on Patreon, gang. It really is. Not to if be. If you're not sure what it is, go take a gander at them numbers over there. There's <laughs> a lot of stuff going on over there. You got videos. You got bonus episodes. You got vlogs. You got travel stuff. I would put up. Nobody puts out more uh, Patreon content than us. I'm going down. I'm putting that down on the on the wire right there. Really? We do, we're doing. You get you can get up to two episodes a week. We're always dropping fun monthly stuff. Mm -hmm. You got all the the goals that we've hit. The sure. Disney. The sure. Grids tour, the the Shore House, the Shore House. There's live show, live shows from the cruise. Lives, live shows from the cruise. We just did. Uh, we have we have them with uh, Big J, Pete Lee, Mark Norman, Sean Patton, Jim Norton. Uh, who else was on the other one? Cypher Sounds and Yanni Papito. Yanni Papito. Yeah. And now that I'm thinking of it, a couple of ticks left for that uh, second Philly show. So scoop them up. I would get them now. Want all sellouts? They don't say. Patty's shows. coming. You know how she can get. Man, worse, of, worse than you. A couple of empty seats over there. What happened? Was there a pandemic or something? Now, did they pay you for this? Yeah. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking flex on your mom. Where did you get that jacket? It's got real ER nurse vibes. It's the same jacket. It's just the gray version of the black one I wear. Okay. It's just a little newer. It's not as uh, broken in. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah. Got real. You're about to go to the dentist vibes. Okay. What? I don't know. Go to the dentist. Is there vibes for a dude going to the dentist? You're at the dentist. Toby, where are you at over here? <laughs> Fucking trying to shit on this guy. Back me up. Speaking of which, having a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man. Makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's mm -hmm. and he got the dots the I's. He's got a brand new pair of jeans on he's very excited about. Give it up for T-Bone McScruffins. Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What up, T-Bone? I got some new jeans. Uh, yeah, he's been he's been walking around like you're fucking Cindy Crawford around this <laughs> yeah. place. I'm looking sharp. I mean, he's got all black jeans. He's like, do these look cool? I'm like, they, I didn't know you. Who knows? Well, I've been wearing the same pair of jeans for about a year and a half. Sure. I'm right there with you. Yeah, always. One pair of jeans. Two pair of jeans. That's all you need. I bought three. I felt like a real hot shot. Same kind? Oh, same size, same cut. You know it, baby. Where's a guy like you get his jeans? Old Navy. Really? Yeah. That... Comfortable fit over there. It's mostly uh, sweatband material. I know. It's all dork stuff, but... 
H&M, they, they, they cut me off. I've been buying the same pants for a decade. They stopped making my styles because I'm old now. Sure. Oh, that hurts <laughs> when you walk in and people are like, well, I'm like, where are your skinny jeans? Like, kick rocks. Yeah, not anymore, dude. <laughs> Everything's cut hey, real Spencer's big. Spencer's gifts beat it. <laughs> you look like you're wearing your dad's clothes if you go, you go to an H&M anymore. Listen, man, baggy jeans stunk then and they stink now. Yeah. Did I ever tell you the uh, when I when I first lost weight years ago, I had gotten this, this, this is pre-comedy. I'd gotten really, I really porked up, um, and uh, and I lost. I believe the- one half of the story. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay. <laughs> what that I really porked up? <laughs> yeah, that you did not lose it. I did because I had been wearing dress pants. This is this is before I gained the weight again and wore my my dead uncle's dress pants when you met me uh, at the Raven down there in Philadelphia. Mm-hmm. But I'd been wearing dressed like a homeless <laughs> businessman. <laughs> Only guy I know show up in a fucking three quarter length coat with fucking holes in his sneaks. <laughs> Man, I wish the long coat would come back. I really do. It never looked good on you. I know. It didn't. You just didn't. I. They don't look good on me either. You need a good. You need a specific frame, and we ain't got it. Yeah. Just running around like Fat Batman. <laughs> Dude, I loved it. Pop the collar up, especially the wool ones. Man. I'll take a number four. <laughs> <laughs> All the extra fries, please. <laughs> they call me the fart knight. <laughs> Anywho, uh-huh. I had I had, I had dropped a bunch of weight, and um, I don't think I had discovered Old Navy yet or something like that, because that was I, I eventually went there after this. But I went to the thrift store and bought a pair of jeans, and they fit really good. And like a week later, I was with somebody, and they were like, those are women's jeans. <laughs> There's no pockets in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Low rise. I I can't think of the name. It was like it wasn't Lane Bryant, but I sure it might have been or no. Um, ah, it's on a tip. Liz Claiborne. They were Liz Claiborne jeans. In what world would that be, dudes' pants? That's crazy. I didn't look. I was just excited that they fit. And I remember coming downstairs and I was crying to show my dad. I was like, I fit into them. Look at that. And he was like, Oh yeah, they look good. <laughs> Is your boyfriend coming over to dinner? You're running around in 9XL ladies' yeah, jeans. Dude, yeah, I did. it took me like a You're week. You're wearing fat chick jeans? <laughs> yeah, it's, Jesus. It's the, it's the damn collection from Lane Bryant. <laughs> now, is there a lot of junk in the trunk here? <laughs> You're walking around in apple bottom jeans. <laughs> nice. Boots with the fur. <laughs> Pair of juicies. Oh, they always look so comfortable. I wish I could have wore those. What? Juicies. Those pants? Well, those sweatpants. Man, yeah. when, when a girl had those on. Dude, those dropped, uh, dude, those dropped when I was in high school. Dude, those, uh, were I, chicks walking around high school wearing them? Oh, oh yeah. Man. And you, everybody, you like, all the... <laughs> you were probably dragging your desk around with you <laughs> in the hallway. Wear my school bag in the front. <laughs> <can't give> <laughs> nah, I'm cool. Man, those things were... You're telling hachi, me, dude. Machi. Man, and these... The girls all, like, all the hot girls had a specific, like, they knew they looked really good in what, like, there was, they all had one. So it would be like, so-and-so's wearing the yellow, and they were always crazy colors. Yeah. Man, those things were all right. Those, and I've said this before, solo yoga pants. Yeah. They dropped in high school, too. Man. I probably shouldn't admit this. Still got a little in the spank bank with those bad boys. Patty picked up a pair of them at some point. (laughs) I swear to God, (laughs) She wore them like once. I was like, don't ever let me see you wearing them again. She in a truck daddy video? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Damn disgusting. The, the video vixen over here. Yeah. Shaking that, back it up and dump it, Patty. Her bending over in the kitchen grabbing the cookie sheets. I was like, <laughs> yikes. Fucking she's whale tailing. <laughs> uh, okay, man. damn. Yeah. Never that, a thong. You? <laughs> no, no, my I don't Either one. You did, yeah. I don't think anybody's moms are wearing thongs. Got big. I European. I the broads wear them. The older broads wore them. Sure, for years. Mm-hmm. My father-in-law wears them. <laughs> <laughs> Good guy. Hell of a keister on him. <laughs> hey, show it up, rocket, if you got it. You know what I mean. Uh, man, get your tail feather. Yeah, um, I put the kibosh on that real quick. What your mom wearing thongs? No, uh, no. I was like, what the fuck? What? <laughs> You dirty whore! <laughs> <laughs> I got friends coming over. <laughs> no, she when she got a juicy, because uh, they became because the the way it always works is, cool kids start wearing them, and then it filters in to the you know fucking DJ Max and all sure, that stuff. Sure, of course. And then everybody starts wearing them. Sure, you know. 
And I don't think she knew what she was doing. Or maybe she did. I don't know. <laughs> trying to get you a new daddy. Out there trying to get out there Father trying to Father was paid. alive and well, you son of a bitch. <laughs> hey, don't blame me. <laughs> blame that trollop of a mother. But she was uh, getting patty love. Yeah, you. she was kicking them and I was like, Yeah, dude, nah, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I showed her like the flavor of love or something. She stopped wearing them. <laughs> My uh, my mom never she never did it. She never had any crazy. Uh, she's always been, you know, a, a bit reserved. <laughs> never, never really. Went. <laughs> never really showed it off. A little more of a Christian fucking Catholic lady. You know what I mean? Leave a little bit of the imagination. You know what I'm saying? Can't be wearing booby tassels in church. Um, uh, I remember well, my mom will get frisky every now and then and try like a leather jacket or something. And like, you know, it's yeah. like a little too cool for her. They're it looks okay. Good, but like, you're just like, there's usually something where I'm like, that was on sale at Kohl's. Yeah. yeah. Leather jacket and a turtleneck. <laughs> yeah, something some, like that. Yeah, yeah, with like, a, with like, like an Irish cross. Some, hanging yeah. Down. Some sort of pendant or yeah. something. Yeah. It's usually a veal marsala coming behind that nah, somewhere. I don't think she does veal. Check in. Check in. Yeah. 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 Um, dude, that is speaking of this dude, I went to my fucking, uh, I was down visiting Denise and, uh, kill some time. Me and the bird went to the mall that I grew up going to, mm-hmm. man, those things got are... beat up here. Got beat up there. <laughs> I struck out here. <laughs> <laughs> got us really over here. Soft press the guys going, where you been? <laughs> We're tanking over here. <laughs> Although I got to say, shout out to Oxford Valley mall out there in like Langhorn or whatever it's considered. Two Annie Ann's cooking. The rest of the really? mall's collapsing. Annie Ann's got two locations. They're in the food court because they innovate. Then they got a satellite, John. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was all. It was you, good, but I mean, like empty. You know, malls are go doing bad when stores are closing in them before the mall closes. Oh yeah, mall closes at like nine. So they're like, oh, we'll swing over, do a little, you know, window shop and whatever. And like stores were closing up at like six thirty on a Friday night. It's no good. Crazy. You know what Aunt Annie's needs to do? Is they need to get a, a soft serve machine in there. Cup, little soft serve, couple of them nuggies around there. Home run. Sure. Be I nice. think this one might have been connected to what are they like the TCBYs? Oh, those that, the one might have been a suck. Might have been a slash. I remember my parents trying to push that shit on us when we were kids. Instead of going to Baskin Robbins because they thought it was healthier. Sure. And this is before they perfected the Greek frozen yogurt. This was just regular frozen yogurt. You were doing chains like that? I figured you wouldn't be like a chain. We weren't a chain ice cream fam. Off and on. Rita's. But if it wasn't Rita's. Rita's wasn't popping yet. I guess it was too. Yeah, it was in the 90s. Yeah, when I was a kid, we would go to like, you know, Ensilacos or something like that. Some place. Some like some local place in Wilkesbury. Gotcha. There was a there was a place on 309 in Wilkesbury that had a huge cow. <laughs> That's growth. I didn't I didn't make the joke. Could have been any one of your family members. It's like a huge cow. It's awesome, <laughs> awesome hard ice cream. It's just your mom in yoga pants. <laughs> All right. But then, yeah, we dab would go back and forth a little bit. We would do growing up. Newtown had Good Nose, which was <laughs> it was like the guy Coke place. <laughs> they were good. I think they still. Might, I don't know if they're still open or not. But uh, that was like the local creamery or what? Like there, yes. like it was a dairy farm. Yeah, had their ice cream. Same yeah. thing with uh, not Styers. Tanner Brothers. Sure. You go there, you get your fucking, get your, yeah. get your good, good ice cream. But no, we went local, but, you know, we, we'd mix and match. Baskin Robbins was big for us when we were a kid. We liked that bubblegum ice cream, me and my brother. Nah, we never Loved it. You ever have that? Yeah, it's good. Ooh. I remember the first time I went to Cold Stone Creamery with my family, and my dad thought the country never. was going to hell. Never. I've never been. <laughs> never. I went with like a group of never. kids, a group of friends in like high school, like where there was like a, a half guys. There was like you know five of us, like two or three girls and two or three guys. And someone, one of the girls, was like, let's go to Cold Stone Creamery. I walked in. I'm like, I ain't eating this yeah. commie shit. Yeah, never. Fuck out of here! All happy, happy birthday, and, like yeah. screaming at you, chopping up ice cream on a metal slab. I'll be out. Oh, fuck out of here. I'll be in the. I'll be in the car shit. catching a heater. And listen. As a fat guy, sometimes you can it can be too much shit in there, too much too many toppings. You get some kid all smoked out. And, hey, I don't want him doing that. Let them do that shit that back at the lab. I don't. Yeah, I don't disagree. Like Ben and Jerry, give me the finished product. And they're almost tipping the toe in the line of too much. Like their peanut butter cups, it's too many, and they're whole. They fucking crack a molar over here. Hey, goddamn break. Sure. Break that shit up a little bit. <laughs> the Briars did it the best. Like three chocolate chips in there. That's it. Where can you see where Briars? It's. Do you know how to spell it? Yeah. I feel, always felt like that was local. I felt like that was a Philadelphia thing. No, can't be. I, I, I'm just saying. Like my interpretation of it was that it was local. 
But I'm pretty I, I know it's national, but where's it where's that based out of? Briar's vanilla. <sighs> the vanilla bean with Turn the little little out. specks in it. Yeah. Thought we were French when that <laughs> shit came out. But they did have French vanilla. Yeah, no, but I there was my dad throwing one of those out the back door one time because it was like yellow. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was like that. creamy. Ah, no, Denise tried to pull that one. I said, "This looks like mustard." Kick rock. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take my straight up regs vanilla. All right, <laughs> fucking doing this shit with you all day. Philadelphia, I knew Pennsylvania. It. No shit. Look at that. I knew it. Man, no shit. Is it a national brand now? It's got to be. Briars? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're coast to coast now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do Jersey. We do Delaware. <laughs> yeah, we need Neapolitan. Uh, damn. Okay. That's one of my biggest I regrets. I felt that for some. I, I feel like my dad told me that. One of my biggest regrets is looking back in how uh, <laughs> Philadelphia has all of the fattest foods. Got out to it, baby. That's there, why dude. we love you. <laughs> biggest regret as I look back and I always put my nose up at the strawberry in the Neapolitan. I still do. It's it's awesome. No, it's like it almost, doesn't get there fully. It's not. Nah. An, it's not enough, and it's it's too li- it's too little. Give me a berry taste, not this like rose water. Fucking pansy ass bullshit. Nah, I wish I would have shown a little more love. No, the vanilla is the one that stinks in the Neapolitan. No, nah, that's crazy talk. That's crazy. They're Canada's all on? good. Is what you're supposed. You're supposed to go across. No. I almost no. get like a spumoni. I'm telling you how you're supposed to eat it. No, we were just little, just little snots. That that strawberry would sit there. I'd and you'd be able, or burn. You'd be able I'd to be tell when you picked one. up the thing because it'd be it'd be the top. Yeah, yeah, lopsided. Uh, we would get into the other one. I would open. There would still be strawberry left, and I'd crack a new one. Oh, I had to cause a war. Oh yeah. I mean, at that point, I didn't. There was. I mean, <laughs> things at home were rocky enough that the fucking would, ice cream wasn't getting. You would have two things of ice cream in, in the house at the same time. I think my mom would buy like two. Yeah. Ooh, never one. That's it. And then she started moving over to Edie's. Remember Edie's? We had that for. I thought that was like rich people ice cream. That Edie's? stuff. Because there was commercials about it, like that. That that felt like new money to me. E E D D Y or something, yeah. right? They might have done yogurt. It might have been frozen yogurt too. Or she no, had some frozen cream. yogurt in the house. That was for in a the while. tall cylinder rather yes. than the tub. Yes. Edie's was that was like rich people shit to me. I remember when I was a kid and I used to watch uh Family Ties and the, their ice cream was Haagen Dazs and it was in the things before I even understood what Haagen Dazs was. I was like, man. They also had the orange juice in the pitcher. A family that did that. I was just that trying dad to, was a lawyer we were, or something. No one does that. That's only exist in commercials. No I mean, one's doing that. I think the only only reason we ever did it, but it was never in a nice glass. It was never in a. It was in a fucking one stained with like tomato juice or whatever. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. plastic joint. When Patty would break out the frozen orange juice. Yeah, the concentrate. I mean that yeah. shit. Yeah, of course. That that's all we had growing up. Man, you want heartburn in first period? <sighs> Have a glass of that in the morning. I love that. Yikes. Shit. Loved it. Jam you up. Can't but talk about Bespoke Post. Shout out to the Bespoke Post box. Awesome. It's the holiday season. Mm-hmm. And man, oh man, do they know what they're doing over there? Bespoke Post. Kippy's right. He's talking about the box. Awesome. You like doing cool guy stuff. You like mm-hmm. having cool guy things around the house. You got grooming stuff. You got outdoor stuff. You got stuff for the home bar. Look like a real hot shot this holiday season. And get over there to Bespoke Post and get yourself a box. Awesome, baby. Yeah, it shows up at your doorstep each and every month. So there'll always be something to cheer you up when you need it. Yeah. I get it and every time i come home i'm like ah oh, my i got the dog shit on the rug again i look over a nice box of awesome open it well, up treasure chest i get a knife i start <laughs> what <laughs> no just in air i'm practicing my moves obviously each each box is valued. all right toby got that each box is valued around 70 dollars. but you'll pay a fraction of that pro- price plus with the box of awesome you're supporting small businesses as 90 percent of everything that comes from your box of awesome is from a small up-and-coming brand get 20 yes. percent off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com and enter the code garbage at checkout that's boxofawesome.com code garbage for 20 percent off your first box boxofawesome.com code garbage do it gang yep kip this is butcher box shout out to the og butcher box i'm not going to pretend like you don't know what it is <laughs> But for any of the homies or bozos out there that don't know, Mm -hmm. it is heaven on earth. Amen, sister. Send you meat right to the house. We're talking free range, Mm -hmm. talking wild caught salmon. Mm -hmm. We're talking grass fed, grass finished beef. Unbelievable. Plus the deals they throw at you this time of year are absolutely bonkos. Yeah. And if you're doing Thanksgiving dinner at the house, get yourself a butcher box. Get that fresh turkey in there. Yeah. You know what what a pro move at Thanksgiving is when you're talking meats and stuff? Go hamburgers. No, you. <laughs> Going sloppy Joe's. Yeah, you, you got the you got your father in law coming over, so you're doing it. Uh huh. Throw some 
fucking crab legs at him. Let him know yeah. he's ball. He you wow him with the dog. Yeah, there you how, go. How's work going? Crab legs. And I'm having Pull sex. Pull it out with of the turkey like a magic trick. <laughs> there you go. And I'm having sex with your daughter. <laughs> You'll even get the recipe inspiration guides, tips, everything you need to eat. You need to know to make the most out of your box. This Black Friday, your search for amazing deals on high quality protein ends with Butcher Box. They're offering their best deal of the year. Choose your free steak for a year. Oh my God. <laughs> Choose between two New York strip steaks, filet mignons, or ribeyes to Woo! get free. That you get free in every box for a whole year when you join. Sign up today at Put. That's crazy. I'm signing up under a fake name now. Yeah. Sign up today at ButcherBox. Ribbies. Sign up today at ButcherBox.com/slash/ayg and use code ayg to choose for your free steak for a year and to get twenty dollars off. That's ButcherBox.com/slash/ayg. Use code ayg to get this special Black Friday deal plus twenty dollars off. Do it. Do it. All right, gang, but all that's neither here nor there. Ice cream talk, fucking OJ talk aside. Let's fucking Go get into it. Go for a cone. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of sprinkies. A little bit of dipping Dots. Uh, never. I know. I had it once or twice. It didn't, it like, it never got there again. It would just, like, they'd freeze. They were too too cold when you got them. That was sucker shit. That was, that was shit for real poor kids at the amusement park. They thought they were getting something. They'd have it all over their face and shit like that. Yeah, I'm the, not riding next to this guy. It was all air, I felt. Like, it wasn't dense enough. Trash. Yeah, it's like eating fucking cold styrofoam. The the all time H Foley content pitch was us at some truck stop in West Virginia, in the middle of nowhere, and they had the knockoff Dippin' Dots vending machine. And you turn it around, going, "It's like Dippin' Dots. I've never had it. Could be a video." <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying I wouldn't kick the tires a little bit. But as Nurse Kippy said, this is neither here nor there. It's a goddamn family episode, as you folks know. When you mm-hmm. sign up for the old Patreon, you get a question read on the air. Yeah. And let's get to it. <laughs> Hit the lights. Uh, this is from Chris Garcia. We'll be right back. This isn't even a quite. I guess it is. Uh, this is from Chris Garcia. Yo, what card game does your family pay- play? Big difference between gin rummy and an Uno family. Yes. yes. I still don't under. I still don't know how to play gin rummy. I, I know how to play rummy, but that's not gin rummy. I knew how to play gin rummy. Um, was when we did uh, arsenic and old lace at the Hedgerow Theater. We sat around a lot upstairs, and that's what we did while, while the rest of the play was going on. Uh-huh. With an old cop who played gin, taught us how to play gin rummy. Nice. I couldn't remember. It's something with, like, matching numbers and shit like that. Yeah, I mean, that's what rum, rummy, the, you know, the spe- you know how to play rummy, right? Regular I rummy? don't believe so. Do you? No. It's like a- we were not a, we were not a, I thought that as, like, smart households. Like when yeah. I would go over I learned to like, it, yeah, I learned it late. I learned it in like my junior high years or whatever. Yeah, this one kid I grew up with, they were twins. They had like a whole game room where they had like Scrabble and Monopoly and all that stuff. We never had we never had a pack of Uno cards. My cousins did, but we never oh, did Uno, any of that stuff. We had Uno. I guess it was also, you know, at this point it was probably when I was a kid it was way more popular than when you. We had Uno. Everybody had Uno at in the night. Everybody, every family had an Uno deck. We had um, Battleship, we had Monopoly, but it usually led to a fight. Always. And we had uh, we had a game called the Flying Finnegans, which was like Mousetrap. Just a bunch of drunk <laughs> Irish guys next door. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I told you about that. Yeah, before. no, you did. Uh, Shit on me. We had, uh, had Mousetrap. I don't think it ever got to work. I think I got it for Christmas. I don't think it ever worked. I remember something. Never got it together. Um and then, uh, dude, I remember one time my buddies, this is when I knew that, like, do you ever, like, you're, like, friends with somebody, and then you go to their house, mm-hmm. and even then, like, you know, you're like, oh, we're a little, our families are a little different, but, you know, all in all, still the, you know, same How come nobody's not yelling at everybody? What's going on? Dude, we went over, it was, like, a Saturday, you know, and I'm, like, we're, like, young teens, 13, maybe, something mm-hmm. like that, we're, like, all riding bikes or skating or something, and we go in there, and they're, like, all right, and they, they're, they're, their day they were spending was like, hey, your friends can come over. We didn't know. Like, we got there. And they're like, hey, you can stay, but we're cleaning our board games. What the So they fuck? took all the board games out, took inventory of all the pieces, taped the corners of the boxes, made sure the instructions was in. Dude, that was like me and Pat. I was like, dude, let's fucking let's go steal beer out of their fridge and go to the woods, dude. This fucking sucks. No way I'm sitting here. I don't even want to play Monopoly, let alone clean it. Grab her purse and let's get out of <laughs> yeah, here. let's fucking steal the silverware. Let's go to the fucking hit the Yeah, that's shop. what I'm saying. These... And I was like, oh, we're not. 
our families are not the same. No, made you feel like a real. Pe- they always made me feel like a lo- like a real piece of shit. Oh yeah, like they were like smarter and like they had like I structured. Took a, uh, did time. I take it personally and did I hold it t- in my head for thirty years? Sure yeah. did. Their be- ass family, their dog probably had glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Bring my dog over and hump you. <laughs> yeah, like I remember these kids had like series of like a series of books. Like uh, the Hardy Boys and stuff like that, and like Nancy Drew and all that stuff, and they would like have like reading time and all that stuff. Uh-uh. It was always a big, especially start hurting each other. Sure, yeah. What are we doing here? <laughs> you got WWF on that thing. Let's go. Uh, it was always a big telltale sign too of the, somebody build a fort. Let's go of the classiness of the family of where uh, in the nineties, obviously where the video games were hooked up and the and where the computer was. Right, if the video games were on the main TV, just like on the living room floor, as a pretty trashy family. Sure, I mean, same house. We'd go over, and before like anybody, before people would have like a TV in the other room or the bedroom or the basement or whatever, they do. They would unplug it, wrap it up, coil it up, put it away every single time. We're like, dude, Sega lived on my family room floor for fucking ten years, probably or whatever. Yeah. And they were like, no, we'll put it away and. You can play for an hour or whatever. I was like, dude, this is fucking. Yeah. It's the no same mom that would try to give you apple slices with a sandwich. Dude, she tried to. I'm not, I'm not even joking. She gave me guava juice one time. <laughs> and, dude, I was like, I almost fucking spit it at her. I remember my buddy's like, you don't like guava juice? I'm like, dude, where the fuck are we? Get me the fuck out of here. Guava. I still ain't never had guava juice. Can I get a a, a class versus trash rating on a, on a on a move I've been seeing recently? Uh huh. How do you guys feel about eating an apple with a knife? Oh, it's great. Slicing it up, apple slices in public. Now it's nice. Oh, in public? What are you, a rancher? <laughs> that's crazy. You're a bad guy from Dennis the Menace. Yeah, that's, who yeah, does that's that? How, that's how he scared the shit out of me. That was Christopher, Christopher Lloyd. Lloyd. Yeah, I know. I know. I saw a guy on the street with a pocket knife just carving now, up an apple. No, he's trying to be somebody. He wants that to be his personality. That's like with stuff that he does. You know what I mean? You think stuff's interesting about you that's not really interesting. Yeah, not that, though. I could see you getting into, like, flipping a big coin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, what? Oh, this thing? And then not want to talk about it, but keep bringing it up. I did want to get into I'd those. I'd be like, why are you doing that? Oh, what do you mean? I always flip a coin. I did want to get into those balls. For a while, you know the 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 big they look like big marbles that guys they're sit like they're the like Buddhist Chinese things, things. Yeah. yeah, the Buddhist things. I wanted to get into those for a little while. Sit there and think. You ever run around <laughs> 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 McDonald's or Burger King? McDonald's or Burger? Because Lawrence Fishburne used them in um, uh, Boys in the Hood. I always thought that was real cool. You would just sit there, and contemplate. Just, yeah, yeah, contemplate. It's, it's, mull over some stuff. Mm-hmm. I had nothing to mull over though. Did you Did you ever run around? Were you ever a toothpick guy? No, I tried. We weren't toothpick guys, but we were. I tried as a kid. Um, as a kid, it's okay. I was a pocket knife guy, too, as a kid. For a while in the early 2000s, my brother got into the Australian toothpicks, the ones that have, like, tea tree oil on them. We, we were rocking that's those for a little bit. not cooler. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but that's not. Just trying to import a personality. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. Yeah. Because you know that's getting shot. Uh, wait, you got a toothpick? Were you at a dinner earlier? Nah, these are from Australia. You're really shoving that in. Yeah. I can't remember why. When I was a little kid, I, I, I wanted to be a wheat in the mouth guy. What? You know what I'm talking With about? With a straw hat? No, like what the, was it, the 1300s? The little stalk. Yeah. Trying to rock that for a little bit. It was just weeds, though, because there was no weed. Well, why? You wanted to tell people that town was back of that away? <laughs> Where you want to go? As you tap, you tap on the roof of their car? Oh, you're lost, boy. I've always wanted to tell someone that someone's been dead for 33 <laughs> years. That house burned down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I like, oh, as documented, I had a lot of those things that I thought were cool. The devil sticks. Fucking hacky sack. I did a pocket watch for a couple of months. Jesus Christ. That's, dude, that's such a you. Like, I'm not even shocked. That is a you thing. Yeah. You really like after college. I like got one. I wanted one for Christmas and I got one for Christmas. I had had no vest to put it in, though. (laughs) Yeah, that's the that's your problem. That you can't tell time. (laughs) (laughs) Zero shot. That thing was correct. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I wanted to rock a pocket watch. I wish all that stuff would come back. Hey, Donald, stop like- serving breakfast in 30 minutes. We better go. I take my weed out. Good Lord. Instead of a picture of your sweetheart back home, it's just a Big Mac. 
There she is. <laughs> Walking around like fat ass Bentley. It's a Fonsworth thing. I knew that wasn't going to play. Deep that's cut. a good. That's a good question though. That is a, a big determination. Sure, but I, it wouldn't be. That's also the same thing as is like Uno th- trashy. Yeah. It's not classy. I, I always thought that was like smart people stuff. That was always in like something like that with like a couple golf pencils and stuff where they would write down their no. scores. Well, and... you didn't have to keep scoring, Uno. It was just whoever got out I of the I don't know, but with like all the other games and well, stuff. Well, I think card they're... games are traditionally classy. A rummy, it takes skill, it takes time. It's, you know. We didn't even play life. My cousins had life. I oh, thought no, that was didn't. the coolest thing ever. Dude, that's that reminded me like Siri. I, I didn't get that. That seemed like something you would play in elementary school. Getting married and shit. Yeah, having was, like, kids. Having kids. <laughs> buddy, get, put a dragon in here or something. What are we, what are we doing? <laughs> Fuck. I didn't understand that either. And I, I still don't. I hated it on the, the l- little people in the cars. Freaked me yeah, out. Yeah, they did. The little st- just stick Just riding people. off to death. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no face on them or nothing. Yeah, like cars are like, you know, life insurance and shit like that. <laughs> Buddy, I got my own problems. My daughter's knocked up. Jesus Christ. No, I was going to say. <laughs> I'm being audited. What? I hated it on the low, <laughs> but I did always want to know how to play Dungeons and Dragons. I assume you were probably... A, a champion. I'm a D and D man myself. Really? No, that's from Airhead. Shout out to Airheads. Great movie. Very underrated movie. Did you way. play Dungeons and Dragons? I've been known to adventure. Sure. Yeah. Really? Were you a magic guy? I tried magic, but I couldn't understand it. No. Didn't it get it. Too the expensive. fucking weird dice. Too expensive, and I didn't understand the but game. Is, is it magic like the stores where you go in? They look like toys. There's like castles and figurines. No, that's, that's those, Games Workshop. Oh, dude. Man, those places were. I wanted to take one of those home and just have at it. Imagine a bunch of high fifteen-year-olds stumbling upon one of those in the Franklin Mills Mall. Yeah, and the, and the weirdos. Did they make any money? And the weirdos that work Tons. there. Really? Those figurines are incredibly expensive. Plus, you got to buy the paints. The paints. I, it's a, it's a whole. Uh, wait, thing. the paints. You have you have to paint all that shit yourself. Yeah. Get the fuck. The, the fun I of it that is. J- that's why I hated models. Just give me the goddamn thing. I don't want it to put it together. It's never going to look like on the box. Well, you, yeah, you're not in it for model. The people that are in it for that stuff is they're in it for the making of it. That's crazy. The tinkering, the painting, put a new vest on them. Gooberville. Yeah. Man, we laughed in this dude's face. <laughs> I felt so bad. You know when you're like, I'm being mean, but this he's like, this is Gleepdorp, the king of the whatever. And dude, it was like me, Pat, and Vinny with their skinny, high as a kite, being like, what the fuck? Dude, we went back and found our other buddies. We're like, you got to see these losers. <laughs> Time's your mom picking you oh, up, dude. Oh, man, it was rough. I didn't get that, and I didn't get the, um, remember the, uh, like the uh, Revolutionary War soldier figurines that people would have? No. You guys know what I'm talking about? They would yes. paint them. Similar vibes. Fuck I- out of here. I, a goddamn fucking G.I. Joe. I'm going to go. really regret admitting this, but so the game that they play at Games Workshop is called Warhammer, and there was a spinoff. <laughs> of, they made a Lord of the Rings game, and I played that one, and I got all the figurines, and I would paint them, and the what, Warhammer. What Wait, you'd have to do all this shit just to play the game? Yeah. And what about, like, the castles and stuff? Because those things were pretty sweet. How'd you fit that in your schedule with all the chicks you were banging? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Well, this guy's was... making toys. And like how it's... did you paint when you were stuffed in a locker? Wasn't the light <laughs> really bad? <laughs> Get in there. I did it by feel. Yeah, it was really That's bar- crazy. All of, all of the, the Warhammer guy, dorks would make fun of us. They were like, we were even lower on the to- totem pole. Horrible. But Dungeons and Dragons seemed like it was actually kind of cool. Oh, Dungeons and Dragons is fun. For a minute, I got into... Uh, I don't know about that. But... I read only one of the books. It was called Dragons of Autumn Twilight. Do you know what I'm talking about? It was some, like, series. It was very similar to Dungeons and Dragons. It was, like, old-timey shit. Nah. Like, uh, like uh, Lord of the Rings, which I fucking love those movies. Sure. They're killer. I mean, the movies that they made that spent, like... Four hundred million dollars, maybe. Yeah, they're yeah. all right. Yeah, they did. They, they did okay. They're good stuff. Um, Fucking what's his name? Vigo Mortensen. <laughs> Goddamn hero. Yeah. Put it back in your <laughs> pants, will you, big guy? <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. Um, great question. I just want to say. Great question. Great question. Great question. Did you guys play Simon? Nope. Moving on. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know what I'm talking about? Me, 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 me. Oh, yeah. Real easy for five seconds, and then completely impossible. <laughs> yeah, I know Simon. Dude. <laughs> I think spazzed out on you. <laughs> yeah. Talking about fucking early AI. They had it in for you. <laughs> you didn't play that. No, that was pa- that was after. That was uh, before yeah, my too, time a yeah. little bit. You know what else fucking give me, gave me, just made me sad? Light bright. 
I loved Light Bright. No. I could never do it. I would just put all the... See, I had all that stuff. Just draw a wiener out. I was too stupid to do it. I didn't understand where to put the things. It didn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. But it was very comforting to have that on. That was like that was like a nightlight for me with the different colors and stuff like that. I put it on my room. I think I didn't like mine because mine was... you. Like, I got mine from my cousin. It was like a hand-me-down. It was like it was a clown or something. And it just fucking... <laughs> Gave me the heebie G. I used to keep it in the laundry room. I didn't like. It. I didn't like it anywhere near me or my other toys. Wait, why? The light bright? Yeah, it just fucking creeped me out. We had tied speak and spell. I was a big speak and spell kid. You guys are probably too young for that. Yeah, speak and spell was sweet. Is that explains why you talk to text all your text messages? No, you had to type it in. Oh, it was the reverse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't. You didn't say something. We had we didn't have that technology back then. We had goddamn th- shuttles are blowing up in the sky, <laughs> fucking jammed up. I didn't have that shit back then, dude. You fucking hemmed up. Uh, we had. What would, do you want to remember these? You had Spellmaster or Wordmaster. Do you remember those? They were like. No, it sounds like the world's lamest Superman villain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's actually an I instead of an E. <laughs> What's a superpower? He's kind of a dick. <laughs> Spellmaster, Wordmaster, pterodactyls. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> It was a handheld spell checker for class, like before computers and word processing. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you're like, "How do you spell dictionary?" Mm-hmm. You would hand, they would give you like a fucking Game Boy type thing, and you would try to spell it out, and it would correct it for you. Okay. So you're like writing in class or whatever. Was well, you had one of them? You pass it around yeah, the class. Yeah, one. Of, it was called like Spellmaster, Game Master, or something. Didn't like they kind of give up on spelling? Wasn't there? Wasn't at a certain point they kind of just said. <clears throat> There's no no points for spelling. Why do I feel like I remember that at some point? I don't think so. They just kind of gave up on, you weren't going to lose points for spelling. That sounds like if you got held back, the entire school district was going to get knocked for their life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> their like you were, low, you were lowering the bell curve so much <laughs> yeah. that they were like, all right, guys, we can't help. We can't help. If hold I could lose our tater tots contract. <laughs> yeah, dude. I could have swore that kind of that happened at some point. No points for spelling or something. I think. Why do I feel like I remember hearing? I that? remember in college, I feel like that was a thing. Like the, like the cool professors would be like, "I don't care if there's a grammatic error or a spelling error in a 15-page paper. Like, it's more about your thoughts and the content and the what. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, Hemingway didn't use any grammar, and he was a goddamn genius. He was a drunk, and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Blew his brains out all over Key West. <laughs> But he was a genius. Him and them goddamn cats. <laughs> Anybody with that many cats is weird. <laughs> How dare you? You got that national treasure, that man. <laughs> uh, all right, this one's from Benjamin. I've never thought about this, but how garbage is it to take your shoe off in public to get a little rock out that's been bugging you? <laughs> man, you lose all confidence when you got to take your shoe off in the side on the sidewalk. Man. That's so funny. You're like, I looking. always get a rock in my shoe. Oh, yeah, always, man. dude. It's like the goddamn Rockies. In Especially there. my Crocs. I get them in that Crocs. Well, there's holes. You can come yeah. in from all angles. Jam you up. Man, there's something about you got to lean on something, take it off, shimmy it back on. Yeah. That's I remember I did a tough. play in college and I was supposed to have a limp in the thing. And you're trying <laughs> to get back in acting. It's the third time you plugged your resume. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I was, supposed to, I was supposed to have a limp and I put a rock in my shoe. A real method, huh? Ended up hurting myself. God, <laughs> 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 God, God. God damn it. God, gave yourself plantar fasciitis to be salesman number two. Yeah, yeah. something like that. Dude, it really hurt for like a couple of months. Because uh, I like, came down on it hard. <laughs> now, does anyone... Because now you have a close circle of, you know, relatively aware people. Me? Who kind of, you know, like, you're kind of corralled within your decision making now a little bit. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Of like. Kind of. You know how like you, you sometimes you come in with a Sounds like an insult. No, at some no, point. no, 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 not at all. Not at all. You're a, you're a creative man in some senses. And you're like, you'll, sometimes like you'll come in and you're like, hey, I'm going to do this. And Toby goes, I don't think that's a good idea. Who was checking you or were you just kind of unchecked back in the day? Uh, because it wasn't until very recently. That you started that, bowling with bumpers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great way to put it. What do you mean? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. 
You know how you have now you have a but sound. But I'm taking it as disrespect. <laughs> it's not. It's not. I just want to. Well, who was the inner circle previous to this inner circle? Creatively? Anything wise. I don't know. I don't I, I don't understand what you mean. If you were going to make a big decision in your life when you were, let's say. 30. Yeah. 27. Uh huh. Who were you sounding that off with? Like, what would be a big decision? I don't know, but I mean, <laughs> getting into pocket watches and long coats. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, there was nobody. <laughs> All right, yeah, thank you. Nobody. Putting rocks in your shoes <laughs> to be a better actor. <laughs> Moving to North Carolina. All that shit. Yeah, obviously nobody, dickhead. Okay. <laughs> Just ask him. Fucking guy with rocks in his shoes walking down Wilmington, North Carolina, with a pocket watch. <laughs> Fucking idiot. A long coat on in the middle of August. <laughs> <laughs> Planting palm trees on the beach. Yeah, no. Okay. I mean, I did have some people that made fun of me pretty heavily. <laughs> what are the, I, do I you have a, their numbers? I'd like to talk to them. <laughs> I had a roommate that they used to make fun of me pretty heavily for 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 music and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like you're talking about me. <laughs> no, <laughs> you're talking about the years we lived together. No. No. <laughs> I used to have roommate stifled big, my creativity. <laughs> big head. Manscaped. Manscaped. Manscaped is Italian for keeping the nuts clean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gang, it's the holiday season. People are going to be opening presents, if you know what I mean. People get loose under that mistletoe, get that eggnog in them. You don't want them to go down and be like, yikes, what the hell is that? Mm-hmm. So clean them up and freshen them up. Everything you need, they got over there at Manscaped. You got the, what, the new performance package, 5.0 Ultra? 5.0? The Ultra they're doing, that's already out. Comes with the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra Body Trimmer, the Weed Whacker 2.0 mm-hmm. Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer. Then you got the Crop Smoother Aftershave Lotion for the nuts. <laughs> Chest, I'm not talking about chestnuts roasting on an open fire either, yeah. gang. Uh, the Lawnmower 5.0 truly does it all. It comes with two. Talking bl- about balls on your forehead. <laughs> it comes with two blade heads, a standard trimmer blade, foil blade uh, for a super smooth finish. Mm-hmm. Uh, this performance package has everything you need to shape up, look, feel, and smell amazing. Yeah. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code garbage at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use the code garbage gang. Do it. Do it. Kip, let's tell them about Aura. Oh, you mean Aura Frames, the gift everybody's getting this year That's from old Kip Arino? Yeah, no Everyone's kidding. Everyone's getting that. Let me tell you something. You got the frame, you throw it on a, you throw it on an end table or something like that. Sure. You get to load up pictures. People can load them up and they send it to you and it keeps going. It's fresh. I, it's like a little nightlight. It's very warming and cozy when I walk into the kitchen and I to get my glass of water or milk or have my cheesecake. Or your hooch. <laughs> and I need a little stiff drink to take the edge off of a you long the, day of podcast. There's the kids playing uh, Little League or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Right there. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I get drunk and watch mine. It's like you're at the movies. <laughs> <laughs> They're absolutely fantastic, guys. Do yourself a favor. You get to stay in touch with your family if they don't live near you. It's mm-hmm. a really nice thing. Uh, they were named number one best digital frame by Wire Cutter, and they're really a really thoughtful gift to give that'll bring them joy all year long. It's one of those things that people open up and go, oh, and you go, hey, send you pictures. Look, it's easy. It's nice. It's fantastic. Um, from now through Black Friday uh, and Cyber Monday, Aura is offering their best deal of the year for a limited time, so don't wait. Listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com slash garbage. That's Aura, A-U-R-A, frames.com slash garbage. Use promo code garbage to get $40 off their best-selling frames. Terms and conditions apply. Do it. Now back to the show. Back to the show. This one's from Josh. $10 homie. Haven't had one read yet. Shout out to you. There is you it, go. Is it garbage if my family started going to Ponderosa Steakhouse after watching news coverage of the D.C. sniper shooting that happened at one of them? Delicious spot by the way r.i.p ponderosa i mean i think it's well documented how i feel about ponderosa i don't think i know i don't think i've never even been you're crazy there was one right up the street from us and we would go as kids like 10 of us and they're closed now yeah and get like two plates was it a buffet style yeah it was a legendary buffet really they're all closed oh i'm not i'm not sure about that toby would have to give a google on that they might be maybe one or two are hanging around there's always one or two lingering around somewhere, but they were they were incredible. Yeah, they're still banging. Are they really? Yeah, I would love to go to that. Well, this looks like it's in someone's house, though. <laughs> that might not be <laughs> right. That's just a pet. That's, that's 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 literally like a uh, yeah. That's not. That's where I, that's where I began my love affair with ranch dressing. Was at a Ponderosa. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We never did that. It was always Italian at my at, at my parents. 
the Italian and the, the and wishbone. The, yeah, and the clear shaker. Mm-hmm. And then that was the first time we kind of got wind of a uh, of, of ranch, Ran- a, a salad with uh, tomatoes and a bunch of cheddar cheese and some black olives and ranch dressing. Sure. <sighs> with a fucking thing of chocolate pudding just slapped on the side. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Loved them. They were great. Yeah, there's a bunch banging. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Got to hit one of those. Um, I we were a very, and I think this comes from like my mom being poor and then you know having some like she didn't want to be poor. We were we never went to a buffet ever. And looking we back, love them now that what I know about her, I think it was a very like we are not, we do not need to do this. We are not. I can afford to buy my children food. Same Why? exact thing with my family. Yeah. That's crazy. Never I, I, once. It's a went good to a value. Buffet. I'm not saying it's not. I'm, listen, you're. I'm not shitting on it or shitting. I'm saying I think my mom was very weird with stuff like that. <laughs> you're ready to go I to know, war what for the, the buffet. Fuck? <laughs> Jesus, I'm not saying buffets aren't good. I ate at one last week. I'm just saying I think my where'd you go? My mom was very um, like, hey, I don't need to go to a buffet. It was like an emotional thing for her. I do. I remember I went to a I buffet hate, or Ponderosa. A buffet. Okay. I love a buffet. Love a buffet because I can get the fat kid food that uh, you can't order all at once. What was the buffet? Where else are you gonna get spaghetti and General Sal's chicken? That's that's what I'm saying. And no, so and, good. and not fucking so good. Not filling up my plate with some bullshit vegetables. I don't want General Sal's chicken and mashed potatoes with a little bit of mac and cheese. <sighs> add, a, add a a fucking sm- smash some fries on there. So good. Maybe a slice of za. Where was the buffet on the cruise? It's like you- it's like you're tearing down the borders of the world. Yeah. Yeah, it's I'm the way for, it I'm should f- be. I'm for yeah. world peace, It's the way baby. it should be, man. Yeah, as, long, as long as that country's America, because it's all hamburgers, hot dogs, French fries, and pizza. Because I just saw I saw a thing on Instagram. Or one of the homies sent it to me um, about uh, Wendy's buffet, which was like three dollars, and they had I don't remember. Was- they had Mexican food, they had Italian, and then they had a salad bar. And man, that was crazy. And a baked potato station, I believe. So good. So yeah, good. I remember that. I, I feel like I remember the baked potato. I feel like that's all I ever saw at the one. There was only one Wendy's in my area um, that I'm pretty sure is still banging. What was the? Where was the buffet on the cruise that you didn't tell me about? Where you got what pizza? What do you mean I didn't tell? I didn't. I didn't not tell you about it. You guys purposely withheld that information from me. No, we didn't. Uh, you went there without me. You had a show. Me and Big J went. Okay. Yeah, I didn't not tell you. You left to go to a show. Me and Jay had lost all of our money at the blackjack table. What they had? And we was said, it nice? let's go stuff our face with hamburgers. Was it nice? Uh, it was pretty good. Uh, I think I did some. Uh, I definitely did some fries. I think I did a hot dog, fries, couple slices of pizza. Had I was a like, buffet. That's whack. What? What are you doing? It wasn't that great. Oh, okay. I mean, like, uh, it depends when you hit it too. I was also fucking. Probably twenty beers deep at that point. I'm not looking for fucking chicken tikka masala or something. Ooh. You know what I mean? Add with a side of mashed potatoes. I needed something That's to sober up. Everything should be over mashed potatoes. Kind of putting that down now. Mm-hmm. So nice in the middle of the plate. Pour whatever it is over top. Dude. You know what's really good? Spaghetti sauce over like a meat sauce over mashed potatoes instead of spaghetti. I can see that kind of like a shepherd's pie. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm alright with That's that. That's how my aunt did shepherd's pie. It was with a, it was a red sauce. Red sauce wrong and, as fuck. Yeah, yeah it's just red sauce. And cheddar That's cheese. how she did spaghetti. What with potatoes? <laughs> it was mashed potatoes, basically like a meat spaghetti sauce and cheddar cheese over top. Woo! Shout out to my mom. My uh, my in laws are in town from Germany, and her dad is a great cook. He does a goulash that'll fucking knock your socks. Patty off. does a goulash, but they make he home makes these. Uh, they call them dumplings, or like I think in German it's like canoodles or something like that. Canoodle and Dude, it's like, I don't know what it is. It's like flour, potato, something. And Are they almost like little tortellinis? No, they're like... Because uh, the Polish do something like that called gawamki, which is really... clean it up if you do. <laughs> Sounds like a bad case of swamp ass. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I got gawamkis. Uh, it's pretty good. German canoodle. Yeah, it's these. German bread dumplings. Let me see. Nah, I don't know that. Man, they're fucking fantastic. Yummy? Oh, he makes them fucking homemade. He's in there German up the kitchen. Oh, man. And then you fucking take like two or three of those, put them on the plate. We fry them up a little bit hard. You get a little crust on them. Then fucking a big spoonful of goulash. Bet your mom walks in there singing America the Beautiful. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Dressed as Uncle Sam. <laughs> 
<laughs> setting off fireworks <laughs> in the <laughs> kitchen. <laughs> Clean that shit up. I got a pizza coming. <laughs> uh, all right, this one's from tboncams.com. Shout out to you. First time, long time. Canadian shareholder here. There you go. Shout out to our friendly neighbors in the north. Mm -hmm. Is it garbage or use a shop vac in your apartment? Nothing is left behind. As the vacuum? Yeah. They're pretty good. They're good, but they're not... Uh, Here's the problem. They're not mobile that way. They're, no. They're, they're clunky. They're clunky to use, and they're not detailed. They're like... They're like it's like using a fucking a bomb instead of a sniper rifle. You know Here's the mean? problem with that. If ever, at any time... That shop vac was used to clean up uh, drywall. Oh, that that dust is gets everywhere. Yeah, you ain't lying. And they're brutal to clean. Mm -hmm. and you're getting sick. Sure. When you clean that, you're get you're getting a fucking sinus infection. Sure. I got one at the house they now. They always have. They're always missing a wheel. Yeah, they're always fucked up. And yeah. then you drag them. The hose isn't long enough. The cord's not long enough. It's like the hose very... pulls out. You yeah. fucking lose oh, it. Oh man, it sucks. But oh, a fresh one. That's the type of dude who like someone spills a drink and he goes. Check it out, shop vac, wet and dry. You know yeah. what I mean. Mm -hmm. We have a we have a Dyson man, and I tell you, it's it's crazy how good this thing is. Yeah, it's great. nuts, and it's real low too. Like it doesn't make a lot of noise. Yeah, and it's real slow. Don't. Yeah, <sighs> man. I remember we got our suck your nose hairs out. <laughs> we got our uh, basement refinished at my mom's at Denise's house. You know, fucking. Uh, it's probably, probably like two thousand or so. This is probably the third time. We had it finished. I think mm -hmm. we got it. We my uncle Den was doing it for a long time, and I think he like picked up another job or like the, the ran out of money or something. We ran out of money or the divorce had something happened where it was partially finished, and then it kept flooding. Bad sump pump kept flooding, and then we finally were like, dude, we had this. Uh, they got this carpet installed. I, it was like baby shit brown. <laughs> it went, if the whole basement was that color, and it was like waterproof or something, where if you spilled. You could just, like, vacuum it up with the shop vac. God, that wasn't good for your skin. Dude, we had a party, and we got it. We got the carpet done, like, minutes before the party. Like, that was, like, the, the end date. We got to get it. The you had a family party, or you Fam and your friends no, had a family party. Okay. I was 12 or 13 or whatever, or everyone's coming over. So, I, when the, the whole, it might have been, like, Christmas or something. We were hosting it that year. So, it's, like, 100 people, like, 60 kids running around the whole nine yards. And man, I was showing off that you could just spill water. Oh, and I remember man. I was just dumping coke on the rug, <laughs> being like, "It's okay, you vacuum it up." My mom was like, "What the fuck are you doing? These carpets are like three hours old." I did that to my dad's new car with a with a blizzard one time. A blizzard? Uh, oh, I the think you meant the storm <laughs> cycle. I was like, "Jesus Christ!" Now the, the the ad campaign for blizzards at Dairy Queen ah, was they were so thick so you could thick. turn it upside down. And I did Not that on an at, August afternoon. I did it at my dad's car, man. I man, talk about ruining this poor guy's Sunday. He's just trying to take his kids to get ice cream. Jam him up. I remember being in the parking lot of Seven Eleven and him cleaning it out, just fucking losing it. <laughs> and plus, I was out the goddamn blizzard. Man, now, they yeah, weren't going back to get me. I was trying to be a fucking hot shot in the backseat. <laughs> did did either of you guys ever have the the anti stain pants? Same thing where the water would beat off. No, no what the fuck? That's what terrible. Was welder? Who has those? <laughs> what are you talking about? I remember like Dockers. Was a lot of race them. car driver. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Stain retardant. I, I had them, and I remember. I remember pouring water. On Showing my off. Why? Oh, beads right because it beads right off. But why would you get? Why did you get them? Because I'm better than everyone else, dude. <laughs> I'm stain proof, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> the fuck. Mm. I didn't like that material against my skin. So it was when the bullies dumped the lunch on his head, it would have ruined his pants again. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> my mother stain proofed my pants. <laughs> this is my third wedgie of the day, I'll have you know. <laughs> um, yeah, well, like a lot of those in the tooth that came out with that stuff, like the Dockers and all that had the shirts that, you know, you can like fucking, but they, they, there's like a film on it. It's not, Dockers it ain't good. Dockers jeans sucked. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I Dockers have. suck too. They never. I don't mean to disparage it. Great they're American. They're always brand. huge in the crotch. I feel like uh, I felt like the crotch was like two feet long, down to they, my knees. They, I feel like they were either meant for guys in real good shape or fatties for guys that were that were definitely going over the gut. Yes, you were going over yes. the gut. I don't disagree with that. That's why I feel like there was so much space in the and they were in pleated. the hip area and the pleats. Made I I couldn't figure any of that out of why 
my pants didn't look like Michael J. Fox's when he wore like a pair of tan pants on, sure. on TV. Mm-hmm. What it was, and I could never figure it out. And then slowly you realize, well, your mom has a crease going straight down the middle, and they're pleated. Pleated pants. That's where they're like. Ribboned, yeah, at the waist, at the top, like get out of here, zoot like suit. Yeah, it sucked. Well, it's that's kind of coming back again, but for a long time it wasn't. The flat front was, and I same thing. I didn't know. I think it was in college or something. I like the flat front, just regular oh, yeah, khakis. Of course, um, I had a pair from Old Navy that were awesome. Wore them forever until they were ripped in the crutch. I showed up to a job. Which is usually, how they ended up. <laughs> I showed up to a job interview with a pair of slack pleated gray slacks. Because I didn't have a suit, so I just do pleated gray slacks. They were club room from Macy's, probably like nineteen ninety nine. Club rooms are club right. rooms are right. Um, I had a couple of club room shirts from my uncle. It's the lower level, real classy. It's the no, it's not. It's the lowest level with the little with the little scissors and sewing kit on there. I don't know club room. That's not good. Club it's, foot maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Club You're room. halfway in the country club with those things. No, club room Get me is the, for a turkey club and a uh, Bloody Mary. Is the lowest level of Mace, of the Macy's brands. I think it's club uh, club room, INC. Never heard of them. That was that was for fucking. I used to like Alfini. S- Alf, no, so this is what I want. Alfini. <laughs> I was a big Alfini guy. <laughs> Woo! Me and my brother no. had a couple of Alfini button downs, <laughs> short sleeves. It also sounds like a kid you grew up with. <laughs> Shout out to Alfini, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the youngest of the Feeny boys. Can't run over by a deer. <laughs> Dude, the Alfini benefit. It went club room. Alf- I forgot about it. I knew uh, I was missing one. We thought we were wearing Italian. You couldn't tell me <laughs> shit. Meanwhile, it was probably made in Vietnam. That material was all right. I, dude, I had a corduroy. I had a tan corduroy blazer in Alfini, man. I got you it on my. Corduroy blazer? I got it on my. I looked like Mr. Feeny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Matthews. Dude, the corduroy blazers, the dumb look. I had, and then I had an Argo. I, t- I think I might have met. I had an Argo. I spent all my money on this to wear one. I, it was on a mannequin when I was working at Macy's. And I was like, I got to be that guy. Dude, I bought the Argyle sweater, black Argyle sweater. And I had the, coll- the white collared shirt under it. Where are you uh, and going? A, and a flask full of Canadian mist, I bet. <laughs> no, I went to a like a dive bar called Lucy's. It was on Second and Market. I showed up and everybody was like, "What? The Wait, fuck? why? Why were you dressed up?" I was trying. I thought I was. That's what you did. I had fucking. I remember this older cool dude made fun of me. Heavy. Yeah, it's like an older rich guy was like, "Oh, I love this." Or something like rolled his eyes and walked in. <laughs> I had boot cut, boot cut. Uh, express jeans on with like with like, with like designs on the on the pockets. Ooh, good pair of Jordaches. <laughs> Showing off that H. Yeah, man, it was uh, it was a rough. So you're dressed like a teacher, more like, like a TA. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was I was shadowing the teacher for the day. Man, <laughs> you know, it was a tough look. The short sleeve or the no sleeve uh, sweater. The Hero, sweater vest. Yeah. No, but not buttoned. There was no buttons. Wait, say that again? Short. It was a sweater, V-neck, but no sleeves. Sweater vest. That's a sweater vest. I thought it was. I thought a sweater vest had to have the buttons. No, on. no. That would be a sleeveless cardigan. That would be a sleeveless Which I don't think exists. <laughs> a sleeveless cardigan? Cut that. Let's get on that. <laughs> yeah, no. A cardigan, That's not a bad idea. A cardigan buttons. Uh-huh. I had those pictures of me in a fucking... Thinking it was cool. I had the long. I wore cardigans. I no. Kurt Cobain. I wore them all the time. No, I'm talking sweater vests. Oh. I had the long white T-shirt under it and an old Navy fucking sweater vest, man. There was these two cool kids down the shore when I when I was going. When I was oh, up. yeah. All right. Now I know what you're talking. That's all right. That was the same time it was cool to have keys on a lanyard. Sure. Spin them bad boys around two trees. Because there was guys. Let them know what's up. There was guys that could just pull this off. Yeah, it wasn't us. And 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 you thought that. It looked cool on them, like the way, like the way Brad Pitt dressed in Fight Club, like sure. There was a, there was when I was a freshman, there was a senior, this guy Andreas Gainer. He was literally like a god. He was he, he was built like an Avenger, and he used to wear like the Adidas sweatpants, but like the satin ones with like a sweater. And man, this guy could pull it the fuck off. Yeah, it's not us. And you just think, yeah, he does it. Why can't I do it? You didn't realize. You end up looking like Mr. Feeney. Dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the problem. Dude, he's named after backflips going forward. Yeah. That's the coolest guy. Shout Is out that to the coolest name ever? Yeah. 
I had to do a half gainer out the window. It's the first time I ever heard the term gainer. It was, I was working with a used to valet cars at a Toyota dealership, and there was a retired uh, fire a fighter. And we're like, hey, did you ever have to jump out a window? And he goes, one time, I had to do a half gainer out the window. I was like, damn, I don't know what the fuck this old man's talking about, but he sounds like a man <laughs> did a half gainer out the window. Does your sweater vest look cool? <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's some nice looking pleats, son. <laughs> But I do. I remember showed up in pleats, and I remember looking. Everybody was dressed. I think it was like my brother, my cousins. I got some good-looking dude cousins who dress real nice, right? Mm-hmm. You know, like fashion forward. My brother was one of those guys, and I remember sitting there. I looked like an accountant, and they were, you know, model esque. Might might as well been compared to me. And I remember looking. I'm like, what the? F- why don't I look that cool? And I was scanning their pants, and I get the mind, dude. I got like seven pleats in the front. I look like a goddamn pirate, dude. It was fucking horrible. Dude, that outfit that you pieced together for that Hail Mary job was it was sink or swim. Oh, in general. I think it was just, a, no, just, in, general. just in general. Just in general. When you were like waiting tables, when you tried to put on, when you scraped something together from your dad and your brother and sure. your cousin and this one, just to try to just let me flush this down one time. Let me look. Okay. I'll never get jammed up again. You know what I would do a lot when I didn't ha- I didn't have a suit. Like I had these brown club or these brown, these gray club room pants. I had a button up or like a plain white button up fucking yellow ass ring around the neck. You know what I mean? Um, and a tie and I would wear, I had like a old Navy or like a gap short, like kind of like this, but a pea coat, you know, like those black short length pea coats that are, yeah. just, you know, like a regular, just black. And I would wear that, try to fool them that that's like my, Oh, like I, you whoa. know, I'm not wearing a, I'm not, I'm not wearing a suit, but this kind of looks, sure. I was outside. Meanwhile, keep your winter coat on for the whole interview. Yeah, meanwhile, it's July. I'm fucking yeah. Schmitzing. Yeah, man. I know exactly. I never felt comfortable in that stuff in the winter. You were always freezing. Because it oh, yeah. all got, the air got in and there. And it was so thin. That material <laughs> so goddamn thin. It's like gabardine. We wore something like that. We were both kind of dressed like that when we did that Christmas show right before we moved up here. I was dressed exact. I was wearing those club room pants, yeah. a white button up, a tie, mm-hmm. and that jacket. Talk about a Hail Mary. The whole ship would have been sank if I didn't get that check. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but look at us now, boys. There you go. Uh, Buy all the pleated pants we want. <laughs> They're coming back, and that's the problem. We can't I wear. I can't do that. I know. Shit. I know. Like you were just saying, I went to H and M when I was in the mall. Everything's like cool guy, hip, baggy cut, and I look, I look like a schlub. When I gotta go, I to need tight clothes. Old Navy, the epicenter of dorkdom. Yeah. to get my pants. That's you know not it's true, over. Though. That's not true. It is. Old Navy has never once been cool ever, no. dude. It's not. No, but nobody knows their old navy no, jeans, of and old navy jeans are comfortable and great and affordable. He's not shitting on them. Why are you taking offense to all these weird things? I He's not know. shitting on them. He's yeah, just... and now literally hundreds of thousands of people know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till the next live show. Sweet old navies, dude. <laughs> well, what would be cool? Luckies? It... I got luckies. I got luckies on now. I don't know. I asked the I asked the guy in the the, the guy in the stock room had real cool pants. Are you hanging out back there? <laughs> <laughs> Not the stock room. The changing room. The okay. changing room. The changing room. That's even worse. Oh, yeah. What do you mean? And he started. He started. He's got his head under. Sir, what are those? <laughs> he started. Wait. He worked at Old Navy. Yes. Okay. But he had real cool pants on, and he started. I was like, where are the where are those from? Those are like the the cut I want, you know. But they had a, but they were like all ripped and cool. He didn't and, buy them there. No, he didn't. He started naming stuff. I pretended like I wrote it down, but I was like, I'll never go. I'm not cool enough. Sure. There yeah. was like a, there was an apostrophe in it or something. Uh, I'm out. Yeah, it was like it was called like Try Sheen Gap. or something. No, I got the old navies. Oh, Gap's all right. Gap was, I don't know what they are now, but back in the day, they were the epitome of cool. They're still, they. I mean, they're not, they still hold their, for like their basic, for like. They're sh- a Gap button fly jeans. Look out. Yeah. Cleaning up. Didn't I give you that pair of that? Remember I gave you that pair of expensive Gap jeans, the Selvedge denim? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. I got this. Cool, they almost were like waterproof. They were they thick. They had like that Selvedge that denim shit thick. On yeah. It's like yeah. it was Japanese Selvedge denim, and I got them on sale. They were like 80 bucks or something. Man, you couldn't tell me shit. And then I lost weight, 
and gave them to you. Yeah, I fit in them and, for about two weeks. Man, but he wore them. He probably slept in those things. He was showing up, putting his, showing them all. Oh, oh, he salvaged denim. Because that this. was the first pair of jeans that I had that were cuffed at the bottom. They were pre-cuffed, and they had that red. They, Selvage has that red little yeah. line on the edge. They to look show. real nice sitting on top of a pair of sneakers. Yes. Woo! Yes, they do. Yeah. Look at how hippie pants. Now we don't have to share pants no more. <laughs> You've been away a long time. We don't share pants no more. <laughs> We've been working real hard for a long time. We don't have to share clothes. But sometimes we do. But sometimes we do, just to feel close to each other still. <laughs> um, all right, let's see here. This is from Dick Picks and Ozempics. Shout, Shout out, out to you, $10 Chump. Uh, can you open a door? Say $10 Chump? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Could you open a door with a credit card right now if you needed to? Without Depends question. on the door. Really? I lived in an apartment in Chicago for five years. Didn't have a key for maybe two of them. No shit. Jesus. Yeah, back door. Right in, baby. But it's really dependent upon the door. It 100% depends upon An the interior door. interior door. Of the, most of the doors now, they've figured that out. There's like a lip. The door has to close towards the outside. It can't open out. It has to open in. So that yeah, you, so you can get behind it and pull. Well, if you want to get behind it and pull, you have to cut the card. And so that you can slip it over and pull it. But most of the time, you just wanted to slap it in. Let you right now. Because the one side of the thing, it's sloped. Yeah. You have yep. to slide it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. An interior door. Forget I get through that like butter. Remember, I don't, I, for us, it was big. Uh, I guess because there was like a, when we moved to Bucks County, there was a lot of newer construction. Mm -hmm. So like all the door locks that were on top of the door jam. Did you have that? All the door locks. So like in like new homes. Right, you know how like uh, an interior, like a bedroom door, yeah, just has like a little hole on it to unlock it. Like, yeah, you can plug yeah. it with a with a with coat bobby pin. Or yeah, right? yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. Well, when all those houses were built, they put all the there's like an actual key for that. Yeah, they would put it up top. Up They'd top, leave it yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And finding that as a kid, being like, I know where one is. Fucking have to jump up or get a chair. Fucking pop it open. Catch, catch your parents doing it. Real quick. <laughs> ah! God, get out of here. <laughs> get off her. You son of a bitch. Like, what you, she was wearing her fucking <laughs> leggings. What do you want from me? <laughs> well, we got to wrap it up, gang. Gang, I'm going to tell you this right now. I'm going to tell the two of you. Don't tell me nothing. We love you to death, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.